There have been protests in many other cities all over the country tonight, but none of them resulting in the violence that we've just seen in Dallas. Protesters in New York, D.C., Philly, and Atlanta with one message, something needs to change, and police shootings of black men must stop. CBS 4's Marley Hall joins us live from St. Paul, Minnesota. Marley? Rick and Rudeve here in Minnesota. Protesters have been out in force all day and into the night. Neither rain nor heat could sway their message that justice must be served. Feel your rage. People across the country are demanding justice after police officers shot and killed two black men in as many days. The latest happened in Falcon Heights, Minnesota, where a police officer shot Philando Castile during a traffic stop Wednesday evening. The officer just shot him in his arm. His girlfriend calmly live streamed the immediate aftermath as the officer kept his gun drawn. On Tuesday, Baton Rouge police officers shot and killed 37 year old Elton Sterling in a convenience store parking lot where he was selling DVDs. They responded to a call reporting a man with a gun. President Obama, upon his arrival in Warsaw, urged law enforcement to address bias in the criminal justice system. He says all Americans should be troubled by the shootings. I just ask. Folks, to step back and think, what if this happened to somebody in your family? My skin is not a threat! The shootings sparked demonstrations in New York City, Dallas, Chicago, and Philadelphia. Enough is enough! And in Minnesota, where hundreds gathered to remember Castile at the school where he served lunch to 500 children every day. Protesters made their way here to the governor's mansion. Governor Mark Dayton vowed justice will be served. Would this have happened if those uh, passengers, the driver and the passenger were white? I don't think it would have. The U.S. Justice Department says it will monitor the situation. So far, the police officer involved in the Minnesota shooting has not been identified. However, he has been placed on paid administrative leave. Rick Rudeve. Marley, thank you. And residents in the city of Baton Rouge are now calling for change in the wake of this week's fatal police shooting of Alton Sterling. Louisiana's governor led a prayer service tonight, two days after Sterling's death. Just two miles away, a mural now marks the spot where the shooting happened. Sterling's family is demanding justice. If you don't care, there's something wrong with you. We can't run from this anymore. We have a problem all over this country. Sterling was selling CDs outside a convenience store when police responded to reports of a man with a gun. Department of Justice authorities are reviewing several videos of Sterling's shootings as part of their investigation.